So I've got with me Justin Chin, a fellow thoroughbred, and uh, Justin runs a school out in, in Baldwin in Canterbury. And as you know, Justin, today is the 60th anniversary of Taekwondo, and you've been around for a significant portion of those 60 years. Not as many as me, but you know, it's, you look at our hair, it's obvious. Um, just in your time in Taekwondo, you know, what's been some of your highlights and some of the things that you've uh, enjoyed the most and got the most from in, in your Taekwondo time? Um, probably training with, with you, Master Maletta. That's uh, also uh, the international seminars with um, Grandmaster Choi and also uh, going to the World Championships. That was uh, very exciting. Okay, I've got to say you do uh, remember your script very well. Thank you for that. Um, tell us a little bit about when you started Taekwondo. Of course, my memories, uh, you came across as a young fella. I remember seeing you as a, as a teenager the first time on one of my trips to Tasmania. Tell us a little bit about Taekwondo, how it started, where it started, who your early instructors were. Uh, I started training in New Zealand, in Wellington, with ITFNZ. Uh, and then uh, I moved over to Hobart um, when I was about 14. And I, I trained with uh, Mr. Steve Weston um, down there. And then um, in 2002, I moved to Melbourne and uh, trained with you. Excellent. And uh, certainly for our club, Thoroughbred, you've been an incredible acquisition for us. You're pretty much uh, carrying the torch for us in, in Melbourne. Um, obviously, we're, we're steeped in uh, tradition and we're obviously very pleased to be hosting this tournament today. And the viewers at home have been seeing our ad every 20 minutes. They're probably sick of it by now. But uh, certainly that was uh, done out at the Baldwin School a couple of weeks ago. Um, moving forwards, what are your plans for Taekwondo? I know you're very busy professionally with your work. But you've had the opportunity to compete in world championships. Um, I know for you, you know, it's not all about tournament. Uh, although you've done quite well in the, some of the events that you've competed in, um, what what are your plans moving forwards for Taekwondo? Where do you see yourself going in, in the short term, or what are your, your longer term plans? One, I still want to keep training. I'm, I'm finding it, you know, hard to to keep the training up, so to compete as well. Uh, so I, I tried to uh, probably compete at the Nationals and also aim for 2016 World Champs. So as an instructor of Taekwondo, like uh, those of us who've taught for a significant period of time, you're uh, familiar with the challenges of trying to fit your own training in around your instructing. You're fortunate enough that you've got uh, your brothers with you as well and it's quite a unique family situation. I, I jokingly refer to as the Chin Dynasty where you've got two fifth degrees and a fourth degree uh, all siblings, and I, I can't think of anywhere else in the world that I, I know a family of such highly ranked brothers. Um, but as an instructor, what do you find the, the biggest challenges are other than fitting in your own training, like when you're actually teaching students, particularly children or beginner students, how do you find that? Yeah, it's very difficult to, um, you know, because they've got a short attention span, so you know, you've got to keep it entertaining and, and fun, otherwise they'll get bored very easily. Yeah, that's, it's, it's a big challenge to do to keep them interested. So how are you finding the event today? What do you think about the setup today? And oh yeah, it's, it's great. Um, you know, it's live broadcast and uh, we've got a lot of competitors today and the, the standard's very high. It's, it's very exciting. So uh, 60 years of Taekwondo and uh, we'll do this again at the 70 years of Taekwondo. If we're both still here. Uh, thanks for your support today. All the best. Thank okay, you. for you and the team.